Okay, folks, try to bear with me because this might kind of be like beating a dead horse. Um, the Duramax has a check engine light for a P0670, and it tells you, you know, a good diagnostic procedure. So, um, the first thing I got to do is check for power and ground. So I've checked, I've checked for power on, where's my pen? Right there. So I've checked for power right here and I've got power. I have power at this fuse. I haven't yet taken this terminal off to make sure that I have power here, but I'm pretty sure that I do. Um, I have, I'm talking between the two data lines. I have continuity on these two data lines. I can light a headlight bulb off of the ground and I can light a headlight bulb off of this power, which means that the circuit is good. There's no breaks anywhere in a splice or on a ring terminal or anything. So with that being said, um, I think I'll probably take you out to the truck and show you what I found. Um, besides the fact that I have power and ground to this module, my number seven, I believe, no, sorry, yes. My number seven glow plug is not working and I'll show you why. So this, this I believe has a big red and black like main power to this module. This pin and this pin are your power and ground. I believe this one's your power and this one's your ground. These are your two data lines. The rest of all these pins are all, um, they're all going to the glow plugs. So when you check for continuity, you should have continuity. So I have continuity here, here, and then I don't hear, but I do hear. So this one glow plug, either the wire, the ring terminal on the glow plug has broken or the glow plug itself has gone bad. So that's my next thing after replacing this glow plug module. Whoa, as the crate, as the crate slips out. So as you can see, I have my wiring diagram and I happen to get my light on something that it actually was able to film well. So yeah. Um, so if somebody's looking at this, the first eight of these, you know, staggered from each other, the first eight are all glow plugs. Then you've got your power and your ground, and then you have your two data lines. Um, and so I'm using, I have a power probe, and then I have a little pin thing. This thing's pretty cool. Maybe I'll have an Amazon store with some of the stuff I use, but let me just turn the key on and shut the key on. I'm gonna have I'm trying to look in the camera at the same time as I do this. It's not easy. That's power. That's ground. If you ask why these ones are grounding, it's because we're going through the wire, wiring all the way to the glow plugs and the glow plugs aren't energized. So I could actually energize every single one of these glow plugs with this power probe by hitting this button. And if you do this, then you don't have any sound, but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to diagnose it without looking at the thing constantly. So yeah, uh, and then I'm going to, I'm going to order this. And when I pull this off, uh, cause it's a pain to get off. When I pull this off, I'm going to, uh, check for my power and ground here and make sure that it can light. Like at least this is a, a 9,005 or a 9,006 headlight bulb. So it's like a high beam or a low beam headlight bulb. Oh, with just, I just literally have little wires hanging off of it. Um, you can, you can crimp some kind of a like paperclip kind of pin thing on them, whatever you want to do. I just use it like that. Um, but that's how you test the glow plug controller. Um, 
I'll probably grab the, I don't have my scope with me. And I just was doing this because I pulled this in to do something. Oh, top off the transfer case fluid because it's got a small output shaft leak on the, on the front shaft. But I got plates for it, so I wanted to drive it. But I figured I would just test this first. So um, with that being said, I'm pretty sure that, um, that I've figured out what I'm going to figure out. Anyways, hopefully this helps somebody. This is the next thing I told you guys I would drag you along, and I am, because I saw a few people ask for it and messaged me about it. So you're going to be looking for uh, a power here. You're going to be looking for a ground here. And these are all your glow plugs. You should at least get continuity through all of them, either with a meter or with a power probe. You're going to look for power here. And I think that is it, right? I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyways, hopefully this helps somebody. Um, actually, I think that big black wire, I think that's just, uh, pretty sure that's just a power wire. Sorry. That's just a power wire. There's no ground in there. It's just a power wire. So you should either have power on it or no continuity, I believe, um, because that wire is fused with, like, the alternator and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're charging, chances are that fuse hasn't blown because it's got like a big 175 amp fuse. And if you look further down on its power distribution, it goes, yeah, if you look down on its power distribution, it goes to like the alternator. And uh, I think it might even go to like the starter or something. But anyways, all you need to know is what you need to know. Oh, and here is, <clears throat> We pay a lot of money for this, but if you want to just screenshot that really quick, um, that is what they do to tell you to diagnose the um, glow plug controller being bad. Um, so just for reference. Um, and I hope this helps somebody. So take it easy, guys. It's been a long day, so I'm going home.